Other news now, Mayor Paulette Guajardo says that moving forward, she expects better collaboration between the city and the Port of Corpus Christi, particularly when it comes to the desalination issue. It is that issue that led the mayor and at least one council member to vote not to reappoint Richard Valls as one of the city's three representatives on the Port Commission. Our Michael Gibson is here with us now with additional details. Michael. Tuesday's council vote to not reappoint Commissioner Valls to the port may serve as a warning to other city appointees that the mayor and council expect those they appoint to boards and commissions to work with the city and not against it, especially on issues like desalination. We are depending on those three appointees to voice what is best or have discussions and communicate with us. And that wasn't happening? No, it was not. Mayor Paulette Guajardo talking about one of the reasons why she did not vote to reappoint Richard Valls to the Port Commission. The sticking point has been that the port began trying to build its own desalination plants and supply that water to industry, and that caused problems with city leaders. My, my feeling is that the port obviously wants to provide this resource. It may be another revenue stream for them, and, and that's okay. The thing is, is that we need to collaborate so that we're not stepping on each other's toes and we're not contradicting each other when it comes to the Environmental Protection Agency, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, or the Army Corps of Engineers. The port has been trying to get permits to build a desal plant along the La Quinta Channel and on Harbor Island. Councilman Barrera says red flags raised by the state over the port's plan might impact the city's own efforts to build a desal plant here along the Inner Harbor and along the La Quinta Channel. Now they've had a challenge with the EPA, they've had a challenge with TCEQ. And so once again, we're concerned that that creates volatility for us. So until we collaborate, which we haven't done in the three years that I've been on the council, we've communicated, but we haven't collaborated. In conversations that I myself has, have had with uh, Sean Strawbridge, he's committed to um, working together, working together uh, more collaboratively, um, because yes, we, we, we must align. You know, to move forward, we must align. Councilman Roland Barrera added, that there's been even talk of asking the port to stop its desal efforts. There's been talk about requesting that they abandon theirs, you know, and I, I don't think that we've gotten engaged enough to know what's the path forward. We haven't worked together to do what's the path forward. Now the councilman and the mayor also pointed out that the city is the regional water supplier to over half a million people and to our local industries. So we're going to see how this plays out over the coming months. And by the way, we did try to contact the CEO of the port, Sean Strawbridge, for comment, but he was unavailable. Mike. All right, Michael, thanks for that.